Why am I out on a lake today? Glad you asked. Because I'm about to tell you about a time when I got really scared on a boat. Must paddle faster. Go, 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 go. Like and subscribe. The Gospels are the books of Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in the Bible, and they tell the stories of Jesus' life. If you read any of them, you won't get very far before you'll find a story about Jesus and water. There's the time Jesus performed a miracle by turning water into wine, the time Jesus actually walked on water, the story of Jesus helping some fishermen bring in a huge catch of fish when they hadn't caught anything all night long. The time he took some of his spit and some mud and healed a blind man. Cool, but kind of gross. And then there's the time this happened. When I was a kid, my family got invited to spend a day out on the lake on a pontoon boat. Kind of like this, but bigger. It was going to be awesome. There would be hot dogs and swimming and music. I was so excited. And it was a great day. But I don't really remember that great day. What I do remember is that all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there was a huge rainstorm. And I mean huge. The rain was coming down in sheets all around the boat. I could hear thunder and see lightning. And as far as I knew, my dad, who was driving the boat, didn't really know where the edge of the lake was because he couldn't see it through all the rain. This storm had come on so fast that no one was prepared. It felt like we were stuck in the middle of something awful. Now, to make matters worse, I had just learned that water and electricity are bad news together. Whoa! And I'd also learned that metal conducts electricity. And all I saw when I looked around me was a big old metal pontoon boat and a lot of water. And I was in the middle of a lightning storm. Now, I was with some adults, 
And I thought, certainly, they'll say something that'll make me feel better. So, I asked my parents friend, I called her Miss Kathy. Miss Kathy, if lightning hit the boat and we're still in the water, couldn't we be really hurt? I thought she would say something comforting or tell me that it was all gonna be okay. And she just looked at me and said, maybe. Just like that, all cheerful. And I thought, what's wrong with this lady? Get me to shore now. This story, it ends well. My dad found shore and we got off the boat and we were safe and sound. And if I remember right, it even cleared up and we got to go back out on the water. But I remember how scared I was when that storm just popped up unexpectedly out of nowhere. I didn't know when I would be safe again. I didn't know how long the storm would last. And there was really nothing I could do. I had no control at all. So, when I read or hear or watch the story of the disciples in a boat in the middle of a lake, when a giant storm pops up, I can kind of maybe sort of imagine how they must have felt. Now, their boat may not have been as sturdy as our pontoon boat was, and there weren't big waves crashing over me, and I didn't think we were going to sink, but I was really afraid, and I had no idea what would happen. Can you relate? The story I told you about when I was a kid, that was a real storm. Real rain, real lightning, real danger, maybe. But there are still some times when I feel that way and it has nothing to do with water or boats or lightning. There are times when I feel uneasy or anxious or unsafe and I don't know how long I'll feel that way. And in my head, I know Jesus can help me. He might just stop whatever is making me feel that way or he might give me a sense of calm or a strategy to help me, even if the situation doesn't change. And even though I know in my head that Jesus can help me, sometimes my feelings still take over and I get worried and my heart beats a little faster and I can feel a little panicky. Has that ever happened to you? There are a few things that help me when I feel this way. First. I write it down. I write a letter to God and tell him how I feel, what I'm afraid of. And sometimes just doing that helps me realize that I don't need to feel so worried. The second thing that helps is remembering something Jesus said in the book of Matthew in the Bible. He said, don't worry about tomorrow. Tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. And the third thing I do is tell someone else the way I feel because sometimes you just need someone to help you know what's true and what's not. Or to help you make a plan so that whatever's scary right now doesn't have to stay scary. Those are a few things that help me when I feel like I'm in the middle of a storm, whether it's real or not. Yeah. Heads up, uh, see the crown. I'm a king's kid, look at the renown I got no fit on our battleground God said he got me so I'm never backing down, yeah This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy Enemies gotta go fall like dominoes, uh. On the front line with my eyes closed Come from all sides with my eyes closed Pay him no mind, got my eyes closed Knocking down giants with my eyes closed no attention to the haters under me My vision more than 2020 Tell me stand up so I can bob and weed Just stay, yo, it never took a swing Heads up, see the crown I'm a king's kid, look at the renown I got no fit on the battleground God said he got me so I'm never backing down, yeah This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy This is how I fight, this is how I fight, ayy Enemies gotta go fall like, oh yeah Living like a winner, God doing business and I'm on the agenda, oh yeah Living like a better, tell somebody cause it only gets better, oh yeah Living like I love it, God's so good and there's no one above him, oh yeah Glory to the highest, king of all kings, love richer than the mightest Heads up
hands up, uh, see the crown I'm a king's kid, looking through renown I got no fit on a battleground God said he got me, so I'm never backing down, yeah This is how I fight, this is how I fight, hey This is how I fight, this is how I fight, hey This is how I fight, this is how I fight, hey Enemies gotta go fall like dominoes, uh. Oh my God, I got faith to put my dogs up, boy, yeah Oh my God, it's got me so I put my dogs up, boy, yeah Oh my God, I got faith to put my dogs up, boy, yeah Oh my God, got me so I put my dogs up, yeah uh, Oh my God, I got faith to put my dogs up, boy, yeah Oh my God, it's got me so I put my dogs up, boy, yeah Oh my God I got faith to put my dogs up for you Oh my God, got me so I put my dogs up, yeah